everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario in our last episode. We went through three gates with flowers, got some fertile soil, and encountered one of the most obnoxious roses ever to exist. Because we need to save a lily and she's got the thing that lily needs in order to uh, survive. Jesus Christ, how petty can you get? So, we need to remember we had to get something prettier than Lily in order, or not Lily, prettier than the Water Stone to give Rosie. And I remember some, and we remember exactly something that is pretty that we can take care of. always just sets me off. Doesn't matter how beautiful you are, if you act like a fucking jerk, then jeez, who the hell needs you? Okay, starting to play a little dangerous here. might need to uh, take a little pit stop after this. Stinky herb. Oh, Rosie told you to bring her something beautiful. Rosie really loves beautiful things above all else. She's a little self-involved, have you noticed? More than a little. You really need help, huh? Okay, I'll help you. This tree and I are connected by our roots, so maybe one or two crystal berries will fall down if I shake the root. Oops, that was a bit unladylike. Hee. <laughs> Rosie should be more than satisfied with that berry. Yeah. Jeez. In fact, I'm not the only one who thinks Rosie is a freaking stuck-up snob. But before we do that, I need to recover our hit points. Yeah, this is who you talk to in order to go back to Toad Town. Luckily, because we are, like, right in front of the, uh, Toad House, this shouldn't take long. Ah, <sighs> a little nap, and... Time to go back to Rosie to bring her down a peg or two, or maybe not. This will probably just make her vanity even worse. Ugh. Save that just in case. Well, that worked. 
works. I guess that works. Star, nice. Yeah, the shooting star is basically the item version of Scholar's ability. She knows she was saved because of me. Right. Oh, such loveliness. I've gotten so beautiful, I'm starting to scare myself. Who's the most beautiful flower in all the flower fields? That is me, of course. Uh, I can't wait to never meet you ever again.
Vietnam Homer. Blueberry, no, 
got a bubble berry. Well, at least I remember it was a bee. Ugh. Six, uh, six of these things, then uh, I'm not complaining. Now, if I remember correctly, which one has blueberries? Ugh. Oh, that's the one that's got blueberries. Whoa, is that the same, same general ballpark? I just thought of the wrong tree. Hey, Excuse me. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to blow your guys' ears off. There. That ought to do it.
Magic Koopas are going to start to be normal enemies at this rate. That's not good because Magic Koopas do lots of buffing. And that's very obnoxious.
whatever, Jalakaku. Lakato. Yeah, one time I actually got myself in so much of a pickle that when I went and see this, saw the sun, I had to fight this guy, and then died. Kind of embarrassing.
having Spike out for a while now. Yeah, this is what Spike can do. And I completely forget to do that.